Call the honourable member for for um, Durack. Thank you, Deputy Durack. Speaker. Together with Parliamentary Secretary to the Prime Minister Alan Tudge, I travelled two hours from Geraldton by small plane to the centre of Durack to a town called Waluna, once a thriving gold town of 10,000, now a somewhat desolate community of 800, perched on the edge of the desert in no man's land between the Pilbara and Geraldton. This is not the first time I've spoken about in this place regarding Waluna, which together with Mekathara are the towns I feel that have been forgotten. Waluna's Nungawali Aboriginal Health Service, led by veteran Richard Whittington, delivers 36 programs without which the community would wither. Yes, Deputy Speaker, it really is a one-stop shop for programs such as the Hack and Aged Care, GP Ear, Nose, Stroke Dental Services, Hearing and Vision Screening, Drug and Alcohol Support, the Night Patrol, Early Childhood Education. They run the ambulance, just to name a few. To quote Richard, life is not easy in Waluna to find a job, a house, and if you get a job, then you lose your house. Alcohol is the end result, the escape from dissolution and desperation. Getting a job and a house can be a disincentive for getting a job in the first place, because one's income then impacts your eligibility to receive subsidised housing. Deputy Speaker, it's a vicious cycle. I draw this attention to my parliamentary colleagues, particularly those charged with reviewing and changing the conditions under which our Aboriginal people live.